Um, yeah, so the first thing was he was sold on his uh, on his mm -hmm. uh, design, which was really good. Mm -hmm. See that? Um, yeah, Sonic's agreeing with you. <laughs> mm -hmm. The second one was that people would have seen the speed and of like the first level, not this level, but they would have said, "Oh wow, that that looks deadly." Like, yeah, because yeah. it was deadly at the time. It looked the, really the, good. The graphics, the graphics do look brilliant. Like. Yeah, but you still hold up. Like I mean, it looks a little bit pixelated, but this shit looks nice. Yeah, you know, and it has got good good backgrounds and. Like, I imagine the ad campaign or like on a television or something. You know, we used to have the like gaming programs on television. Yeah. They would have seen like Sonic, like a, like only like a four or five second clip of Sonic shooting through a loop in Green Hill Zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's horrible. Oh, it is. And you just, you just can't get them back. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah, running through them, and for some reason, it's like, they're kind of. Yeah, you're clipping through you can, them. Yeah, that's right. You can't get them. Until you're no longer invincible. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But yeah, like it was sold on speed like that. Oh, close. That was juicy. I love this. Um. And the tour part would be, have you ever heard of Blast Processing, have you? Yeah. It's related to speed. Basically, it was this completely made up gimmick that Sega came out with. Yeah, and the, I remember they had like, they were showing Mario Kart, they were advertising Mario Kart being just like on the back of a little yeah, banner of a car. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're showing like, Sonic, look, this is so cool. Yeah. Isn't it, isn't it great, like the way that they're able to just do that back then, they actually advertise other games like the US like other people's license and on the ads yeah to, piss out to slap like, down you know? the, yeah, the competition yeah. like you, yeah. could, you could never do that now <laughs> no it was not great though why not like a, a PS3 ad or PS4 ad with yeah. The Last of Us and they had some like, Dead Rising or something on the other car yeah yeah it would, yeah. It would it'd be a total PR fiasco like. yeah I know yeah but like when you think about it like, they ever they were actually advertising Mario Kart there because like yeah. it looked really like you know yeah and they tried to make it look shy yeah but actually like when you see it, it's like oh look at it, what's this game do you hang on so we can't get this one on the Sega oh so don't get a Sega yeah yeah oh is that Mario <laughs> yeah exactly yeah it's goodness it's weird it was yeah it, it was all based on the fact yeah I love the way they have like a drag racer and Sonic is on it or whatever red car it is that's right yeah but, <laughs> but, yeah. but um it was I think the uh, processor speed in the console or something like that is better. Than everything that the SNES has, but yeah. ev but everything the SNES has more colors, That's right. better graphic chips, sound it's capabilities, like, like, like thousands, yeah, thousands more colors, better, capable yeah. of displaying more frames on screen, more yeah. memory in the characters, just things yeah, like better that. sound, better everything sound card for music and things yeah. like that. And I did. I think the, that's that's where the the Sega actually does. Oh, oh shit! I think that's where the Sega B. Um, was the only kind of aspect where I actually beat the Super Nintendo. Yeah, I think so. But just that that kind of. I said I wasn't gonna die, didn't I? Yeah, not too, not two minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jesus Christ. The, yeah, it was literally the only aspect. That, like, I mean, it's subjective what console you like more. That's true. But yeah. like, the, I think technically that was all the me the Mega Drive or the Genesis as it was then in the United States. That's could, all I had. Could actually do. Yeah. yeah. That's all I had over the SNES. But that's what Sega focused on, and they call it blast but processing. It, but it actually, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it, it, that. That blast processing came just from what some guy he's got during an interview, what he said, wasn't it? Like he kind of just, he just threw it out there as a term. It wasn't actually proper terminology, but the way he said the blast, he goes blast processing, or he said he used the term, and then it just it just like all of a sudden he coined it. It's just like oh blast processing. Yeah, and then they quickly wrote down the yeah exactly and used it. For it, and it actually worked. I think in North America in particular, it actually worked. It yeah. helped shift the consoles because the way the the way he kind of pushed it you know oh it's something that i've heard before i was kind of too young like for the 16-bit wars maybe remember it in school and stuff but like that yeah. was there are terms that i actually heard and read about blast processing I don't, I don't know like i mean when i was in school there was never like a oh sega is better than nintendo it was never no? like that no it was always kind of like um oh shit can i go through the wall here oh, oh you need a crush and everything oh God. God, i'll make it I'll one coin. okay i keep getting that one ring don't one coin, Jesus. Are you calling the coins? Yeah, uh, right. fucking rings. You wouldn't, you wouldn't care what they were called if you were like getting your ass singed by the lamp. No, I know exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus, let's just get the bloody thing. <laughs> but so there wasn't really much discussion then. No, on the, I think the if, if you had a Sega, it was like, oh, cool. If you had a Super Nintendo, oh, cool. It's just, I've, I was never biased. I always got a Super Nintendo because it just appealed to me more. But I always liked playing the Sega. I used to, my friend had a Sega. I had a Super Nintendo. That's kind of disappointing to me. Yeah, I suppose it is. Like, I, I think I just like loved video games when I was like, a little, a little, um, little boy, you know. Yeah, I suppose you didn't really. I, I, was, I was very optimistic about games, and I wasn't like with all this kind of internet kind of neg negative kind of negativity and all this shit that people just like, have to say. And it's, it's just yeah, weird it's and it's fanboy, fanboy. It's just like, you know, it's good to be a fanboy, but don't be, don't be like complete plunker, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right, some of them take it so seriously. It's like. Yeah, these are like multi-billion dollar or multi-billion dollar uh, or multi-billion yen companies like. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and, and you're like 
fighting their cause on internet exactly. forums and, and they love it to. and they love it yeah. oh God, that's brilliant you keep on telling them that, that our computer is better no yeah, yeah, yeah. And you keep on saying that being loyal the only thing you should ever be loyal to is just a good game that's it exactly but some companies just attract sheep it's like as well it's, yeah it's oh them. Jeez, let's not even yeah. get into that whole oh. f- well let's do yeah. let's, let's, let's do because you, See, you love talking about it the thing is Miriam is Apple mad uh, she's blind a lot of the girls are she's blind you know it's a great device it works well blah 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 but I mean you can get, you can get a standard laptop and soup it up for cheaper and get it to do more than what you are I think so yeah. you know, I think um, I think Apple be really you know they don't fool me put it that way I'm not fooled well, yeah, they don't work as well as you might think, no. and they are limited in what they can do. Especially when you spill uh, water all over your pour a glass of. Oh, uh, you didn't, did you? Yeah, you fudge it, fudge it, and, and uh, lemonade. You spilt it on on your wife's laptop. Yeah, on your on your wife's MacBook or yeah, whatever it's called. The MacBook. Air. She has a MacBook Air. Shit, well, I'm sure she loved that. Got away with more around the guy. It was really nice. Helped us out. Only got charged 140 to get it done. Normally, when you pour water on things, as you know, that's it. It's fucked. Especially anything electronic. So you're saying you got good service in the Apple store? Oh, I actually saying? did, yeah. I didn't like the, the first guy that was dealing with me. He was putting on a fake American accent. He's like, yeah. so I'm going to take this off you, okay? And then, um, you know, giving an arm. And saying arm. And, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, using all these like, little Americanisms. Little, I forget what they're called. All those, you know, you know, yeah, like, Americanisms. Oh, wow. And there's, like, there's a word actually used in the English language to describe those types of words. But it, that's not important, is it? Interjections? I mean, that's what I think that's what I might be in there. No, I'll get out of Aiden. <laughs> poor, poor Casper down poor there. Poor Casper, yeah. Jeez, that's the last we saw. I think, I think he just got in behind the wall, isn't he? No, no, I think now he's fucked, does he? I think, yeah. Uh, <laughs> he couldn't, he, he couldn't see it because the spikes were also white, but he was like impelling it. Oh, that, that, was, that, that wasn't that, fair. That's, that's fucked. That's blatant. Talking about bad game design. Jesus Christ. Hell, you didn't get a moment's notice. Yeah, no, like, warn me. Like, you know, they change the block, like, you know, put, like, little holes in the block so you know that, like, the spikes protrude. Yeah, through, like, yeah, you know, but, uh, see. Jesus. We could, yeah, we could have designed this game, maybe. We could have. How long are we playing this level? We, we, ha- we have the, the um, Shiguro Miyamoto. The Shiguro. Oh, is this the boss, is it? We've got the Shigzi kind this of, uh, this we've is been easy. trained in his, his arts, you know. you got one ring. You always have one ring against the bosses. This fight, yeah, you just slam, slamp him out of the... Yeah. yeah, just hit him and then jump. It's, it's, uh, the bosses are good in this game actually because there is like a meta to, to beating them you know yeah good design the, bo- the boss is being robotic again yeah. and again but it's cool the way like you're fighting in all the different through all the different zones and it's just so different and different little challenging yeah it's, it's creative it's yeah. as many caspers come out of this one okay i'll count them okay you got squirtles one two oh wow there's Ten, was there and that other one, that other one's nine, there with a spike. Nine or ten, fucking, yeah, he was gone. Skull. He was gone. That was, that was probably the one that ran to the lab as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a hundred points for that level. Zero for time and a one hundred for one ring. Jesus, <laughs> zero for time, man. Zero yeah. for time. You're on a good level now, though. Yeah, this is good. This pretty the pace ups again here, which is good. Yeah, they get the pace going, especially if you're flying, if you're uh, dropping down. What do you think of the 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 character designs, like the enemies, the design of the sprites in this game? I think it's really good. Yeah. Um, any anyone in particular that you like? Did I say cope? Anyone? I did, yeah. I, well, I like the crabs. Some of them kind of have. See the way they're like goofy teeth. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like that, like, that little guy up there. I like the goofy teeth. And yeah. some of the graphics in this are a little bit kind of weird. Is I like it, that though. It's like there's stuff in this, the background. This is kind of like this zone. I always thought it was kind of like you're in like a pinball machine, or because like all these kind of see all these little, little yeah little additions like a little, little graphical little um this like little gold little band up here. It's like something you'd see inside a pinball machine, and then you obviously you have this, this parts of the level as well where you're kind of just like pinging around off the those spheres. Yeah. You know, getting points every time you hit them, and it's, it's kind of like bing, 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 kind of giving off like real kind of sound effects. Yeah. So it's associated with pinball. Yeah. yeah. This. Well, Jesus. This was the precursor to what they had in um, Sonic 2. It was Casino Night Zone, I think it was called. And that was just like, oh, uh, yeah, that okay. was that had the pinball and the slot machines, and you'd use it like, yeah, remember yeah, that yeah. level? Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. It was so popular, I think people played just to get on that game, they'd like, just or just get, get on that the, level. Just to get to the level, yeah. yeah and they'd run out of time and uh, play it again. Really? Just to yeah. get, yeah, just, just keep, keep like, on playing it. Like, bounce around the slot machines, yeah. That's mad. That's when you're really like, you're a kid and there's nothing else to do. No yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, you play games to death. You know, um, Super Star Wars Emperor Strikes Back? Yeah. Tough game. Ridiculously tough. Yeah. Why clear that as a kid? 
No, I know, and I, I could never clear it in one playthrough. I got the codes when you when you clear the, yeah. the levels and that. But I actually managed to get through it, and I just think that when you're a kid, you seem to see you're just more determined. You know, you don't see it as a waste of time. Whereas nowadays, you probably say you're playing, you play some of the games, you're like, I hear, I'm not, I'm not spending any more time. You get frustrated. Yeah. Got better things to be doing than trying to clear this level. It's bloody ridiculous or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas, like when you're a kid, it's just like, oh no, wait, 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 this is deadly. I want to, I want to clear this. this is, I love this. This is brilliant, you know. Yeah. And I actually finished that game. And I used to love fighting Fader at the end. Yeah, he was a really good fight, actually. We yeah. should play that, in. He was a really good fight. Yeah, because, he was. Um, because you fight him in different stages. Yeah, and, based and on he was the movie. good. He was he actually was, yeah. tough. Like, he, and he, it wasn't just like, you know, you could exploit him. You could like, yeah, that's right, stand yeah. a certain way and do him. Like, he was there, like, he was kicking your ass, basically. That's right, yeah. He was, he was very well made. But I loved the way when you held down. You just held yeah. down the block. Here's the drop. Yeah, it was actually like pro having a proper duel with him. Ready right? for the drop? Oh, he absolutely loves Star Wars. Ready for the drop? Ooh! Getting in there, look at that. That's there should be a few rings up there, shouldn't there? Yeah, there should actually. Uh, what did you say, Alfredo? No, I was just saying that. But you, I love Star Wars, so the fact that oh. like, you designed him really well oh. in the game and just been like, like feeling like you're having a duel with him, oh. like blocking him, fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a great. If you blocked it, it was like it was like a sound effect. Like, That's right. Yeah, it was really yeah. Really good. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. those games, which we should play them, mate. They're not a really tough, but we should play them. Definitely. Oh no, definitely. I think we should play Super, uh, Super Star Wars and try to get as far as possible. Anyway, yeah. Let us know in the comments what yeah. to play it. Our regard is we still will. We still will, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, you won't be listening to it, but let us know, <laughs> let us know if you'd approve of that. Yeah, um, if approve. Especially, especially with the trailer, you know? Yeah, this is a cool little design. Yeah, it looks nice. Like little steps looks, and a little challenge. Looks juicy. It does indeed. Yeah, but well, we have to play the whole trilogy, that's the thing. Yeah, and, oh yeah, trilogy. and another thing as well is... Just jump on his spikes. I don't know if you've ever, how much you've played those um, Star Wars games, but... When you fought Vader and Return of the Jedi, it was a lot easier. And it was kind of like the, the you know like the, the toys changed. Like Luke became like a Jedi master, and he was stronger than Fader. You know, he's trained, and because uh, Fader was toying with Luke, like Fader is like using one hand to hold his lightsaber when he's fighting with, fighting against uh, Luke. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's yeah, just, he's he just like swinging around. Yeah. He just wants to trap him in the carbonite, and that's it. And then he realizes when Luke escapes, he's like, oh, so maybe maybe you're, 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 you're not, you are a lot, a lot uh, tough, tougher than impressive. Yeah, that's I right. I can't yeah. do his voice. He just goes, most impressive. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just jumps out of it. Yeah, I can't it's do some uh, classic kind of things. But what are you doing here? The thing about it is. He starts kind of giving Fader a tough time at the near the end of the fight. He clips him on the shoulder. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah, Fader then loses his shit, and he's just like, you know what? I'm putting it into this now. And that's what I loved about the original Star Wars. They put time and effort into every little thing. Like everything had a story. You look at the prequels now; they just don't. They don't have that same level of depth. Yeah. You know, it's just you look at the start of the fight between Obi Wan Kenobi and and Anakin Skywalker. It was fucking boring. I wanted it to end. And that's yeah. Like, that's, there wasn't any. It was boring. It's just it was just ballerina. It's just two ballerinas like with with. Uh, just dancing. It was just too choreographed and it just had no meaning to it, you know? Yeah, There's and no be, depth to it. They'd be doing stupid things like. <sighs> well, who? Shit, yeah, no coins, bollocks. Rings. Fuck. Rings. 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 Fucking blue stalker, see? Yeah, oh, now he's scary, isn't he? Yeah. He's, he's, he's probably the creepiest enemy in the game, I think. Yeah. He just comes up behind you.